My name is uh, Sergeant Corey C. Collins. I've um, been in the Army in 1997. I was in the Army for 10 years. When I got hurt in 2005, um, they saved my leg for five years. They, they did a limb salvage. I had 10 or 15 surgeries on my leg itself just to try to keep it. Um, and it just got to the point where it just wasn't worth it. It, it, it just hurt too bad. Um, I, I had my leg amputated. I, I continued to ride. Um, I had uh, multiple different two-wheel bikes that I kept riding. I had the strength to do it. Um, but about three years ago, I had my hip replaced um, on the same side. And uh, my hip flexors were just gone. I couldn't wear a prosthetic anymore. And I got to a point where I was kind of nervous because my wife rides with me everywhere I go. And um, I, I can handle dropping a bike on myself. You know, I've done that a few times over the years. Um, but if my wife was on the back and I dropped that bike, I'd have been really, really upset. We got his dad's bike, Cam, and it was taken over to Frankenstein Trikes in Kansas. This bike obviously had a previous life um, before uh, Frankenstein Trikes got a hold of it. You want to see your bike? Turn around, brother. Back in the saddle. Corey, did we get you everything you needed? Everything. Everything? You sure you didn't miss anything? No, oh, that's right. You wanted a trailer, didn't you? Somebody bring that trailer out here, will you? That was donated by Pam Dyer from the Run for the Wall group. She found out that we needed one. Man, I tell you what, this is, um, I don't even know what to say, but um, you guys are awesome. Um, I've been at rallies from East Coast to West Coast, North to South, and I've never seen any kind of support like this before. And this is um, probably the coolest things ever happened to me. So thank y'all for being here. Um, this is really cool. I'm gonna enjoy this for a while. So, <laughs> Don't call me because you're not going to reach me. <laughs> so I've seen this bike since the day my dad got it. Uh, I've seen it a lot of different times. Uh, today was the first time I actually rode it. <laughs> Um, it, it's what we fought for, it's what we did in the service, it's freedom. I can do what I want now and go where I want. Um, my wife can come with me and we can, we can do it as a family and you know it's, uh, it's amazing that I can get on this bike and drive from Colorado to North Carolina and not have to think about it, not have to worry about it. Or Oregon because yeah, I'm going to have to come visit you in Oregon. <laughs>